Hello, my fellow humans, and welcome back to Scatter Love Tarot. So today, I am coming at you with something brand new. I've been talking about how the channel is going to change a little bit for August, and yeah, so once, maybe twice a month, this will depend on how things play out. I'm going to do Zodiac Lenormand reading, and this is going to include all Zodiac signs. I do recommend that you check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, and also watch the readings for those, as it can kind of help paint a fuller picture for you. But I have been practicing with the Lenormand, I've been learning about them, and now it's time for me to really get into using them, and I promised I was going to bring them on the channel. It's just been a little while, so... Yeah, we got to get hands-on experience now. So these are just going to be fun. They're going to be short. These are not going to be very long involved readings, okay? These are really just about giving you advice, guidance, or an answer for the week or the two weeks or the month. It depends. Like I said, right now, I'm just going to be doing one at a time and seeing how they work out. If it is something that you do like, definitely let me know down below in the comments. Uh, make sure that you do like this video. And also, uh, you know, knowing that as you interact with the channel, it does let me connect with your energy to get you out more resonant readings, no matter if that's Lenormand or Tarot. So Lenormand is an entirely different entity on its own. I've been reading Tarot for, uh, let's see, for five years now, <laughs> which is just weird to say. It's just so amazing. But I've been drawn to doing Lenormand cards. It's something that really was calling out to me. I have no idea why other than these are just a unique set of 36 cards. And they have their own system. And so I'm going to be building that system as we go. I'm using tried and true methods. And we will see what comes out. So I am going to do the uh, Zodiacs in threes so it will be cardinal signs fixed signs and mutable signs it'll honestly be whichever one i start with is going to differ so eventually hopefully along down the line everyone will get a start at the very beginning of the video so and if you are wondering am i going to do a prayer on these no i want to keep them short and simple uh that is reserved for my tarot readings only make sure you do check out my pick of cards as well as the daily dice readings which should be coming to you at, at every day or nearly every day okay so is that everything source i think so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to go ahead and start with the verse zodiac sign so i'll see you there all right so we're just going to start with pisces why because i'm a pisces and this is my first one ever and so let's just go with it uh, I did shuffle these. I'm going to give them a go. These are really hard to shuffle because they're so small. So we'll just kind of see what comes through here. Um, we're going to find out. Really, there's no like rhyme or reason to this. It's just going to see what's come, what cards come out, what guidance you need. It could be answering a question. This could be dealing with a situation that you're dealing with. This could be something that you're wondering about coming up. This could be anything. Uh, these are not like uh, the tarot where they're flying out and I'll take the ones that fly out. No, we're just going to see what it is that Pisces needs to know in this time. So what would you like Pisces to know at this time? Okay. Okay, stop. Now I'm going to use my block in a different way just because these cards are so tiny. So I'm going to put my block here. Yeah. All right, and I'm just going to do a, a three-card spread for you. Oh, I already know what's going on here. Okay, yeah. Okay. So we do have the child, we have the mountain, and we have the whip. And... These two cards are very difficult cards, right? They are very challenging cards. And this could be some kind of argument that maybe you had with your child, or this could be you having an argument with somebody that was just a very difficult thing and it triggered your inner child. But it was something that you were excited about, right? The child is a very exciting card. It's 
new it's it's open it's this lovely energy it's really overall a beautiful card however it's frustrating when you have the challenging card here the mountains like a mountain to climb right I said these are a lot different than tarot, but honestly, when I when I flipped them over, the first message I heard was, you're having a hard time healing this aspect of your inner child. It's almost like you continue to go back to something and it creates an upset for you every time. And that was a very specific message coming through here for you, Pisces, but that is something that was coming out. You know, you have this innocence about you. You have this new and wondrous idea you see things through the eyes of a child right it's like you want to you want things to be playful you want things to be good you want things to feel good all the time but there is some naive uh, naive energy coming through here right it's like when you're working on your inner child, something all of a sudden comes up. So I feel like this is like someone coming in and creating problems for you, right? But as you continue to face this, you will eventually climb the mountain. It's just, you got to keep climbing, right? Every mountaintop is within reach if you just keep climbing. Who says that? Barry, Barry Finley? Yeah, Barry Finley. It's like it's the enemy isn't always someone else, right? The enemy sometimes is ourselves. And it feels like right now, that's why I was saying, like having trouble healing your inner child. I feel like you're the one that's that's creating a lot of tension for yourself here. And so over the next week, the next month, depending on how how long it is until I do the next reading, you're actually having a hard time with yourself right now. And the, this could be causing arguments around you. When we have the whip coming out, it's something that's repeating conflict, discord, dispute, intense discussion, right? It's like a back and forth, but lacking in harmony because it's a repeating cycle. It's, everything feels like a struggle right now. can show up as criticism as well we do have arguments here so it's this this could be self-criticism coming through that's really difficult for you to overcome feeling like everything is always your fault and it's not okay you don't have to right and then and anytime we do this you can also read this with the child and the whip together here it's this energy of you arguing with yourself you trying to make yourself something that you're not you trying to be someone that you're not and there's there's that's where the struggles coming from it's like you're getting in your own way and if you step out of your own way whatever it is that's causing conflict will unfold okay like if you're having a hard time it's it's kind of weird but if you're if you're dealing with a lot of conflict if you're dealing with things that are falling apart all the time or you're feeling like a lot of anger coming on or you're feeling like a lot of resistance or you're feeling like everything is falling apart how can you in that moment step out of your own way to let things unfold and then find a way to coming back to yourself to healing your inner child this will help you move on to the next level of your journey okay so this is what I have for you. If it resonates, make sure you let me know down below in the comments and leave me a thumbs up. But I am going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here and move on to the next sign. I'll see you next time, Pisces. Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your Lenormand reading. So we are going to make this quick. Uh, like I was telling everybody else, is this is going to be one of those things where it could be answering a situation that you're going through, a circumstance, something with someone else could be anything really we'll just have to wait and see what comes out in the cards however we will see if we can also get you some guidance through those cards and helping you find a way okay I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different these are not exactly like tarot they actually have their own way of doing things so I'm gonna get it set up over here on my block once we get your cards sub shuffle and see what comes out if these are resonating with you, make sure you do hit that thumbs up button down below. If you just skipped over to your sign, I do recommend that you do check out the uh, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. So it'll help paint a bigger picture for you. 
and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do these twice a month or once a month but I am bringing it out for you this will be something new moving forward for you okay okay all right there we go you go ahead and get the block set up over here okay so we have the ring we have the messenger Ooh, and the gentleman um hello sag are you ready for someone to come in and commit or what right anytime you have the ring i mean you can think of wedding right contract that's what the ring means it's contract it can't be continual right so for some this might be somebody you could be the gentleman okay you don't have to be the woman in this this could represent you you're receiving messages right However, this could also mean that there is going to be a gentleman or a woman who comes towards you because they want some sort of commitment, right? Anytime you see the ring with these three cards, it's a very auspicious energy coming through here. This is a good news. It's a really good news. So maybe you've been waiting to hear from somebody or it could potentially be Sagittarius that you're here wanting to propose to somebody and you're waiting to hear their answer you're like very anxious about their answer and so there is news that's coming right there is news that's coming but the ring is a very very good card with or with these two cards okay it does depend on what's around the ring whether or not it's good luck or bad luck but these are some very, very good cards coming out together. So let's see. I keep hearing continuation right now, too. That's the other thing that's coming through. Now, the gentleman does represent either you or someone in your life. It just depends on, you know, where you're, what you're looking at here. But I do hear continuous. Something that's committed, constant. Something that's going to be there. This could also be dealing with, an, uh, you may be dealing with an ob obligation and waiting on news in regards to an obligation. So it could be that you're waiting to hear back in regards to a court case or something like that, or like a divorce. Okay, that's a very specific message coming through, but it does feel very good. It feels very um, uplifting here. And this, this is something that's connecting you and this person, okay? Because I do feel like this is someone else, honestly. I feel like this is someone that's beside you. This is asking you to stay committed to your journey right now and allowing yourself to move forward. If this is something that is going to be solid, it feels like coming through here. They're going to bring a message of wanting to commit to you. And soon, this is something that could happen very, very soon, right? It's going to be fast, it's energetic, it's exciting, it's news. It, whatever it is, it is going to be either feedback, updates, replies, or you're looking at somebody coming in and delivering some sort of conversation to you uh, where you're going to be very happy about it, okay? When we have the messenger here, or the writer, I'm sorry, the writer is a messenger. When you have the writer here, it's always this very upbeat very fast card okay it's just constantly moving and so this is like something that is going to be very fast and that's another thing too whereas this is good energy i am getting kind of a, a hold on here sag is that not there's no need to rush into anything right you have time so it's like letting you know that even though this is very positive energy coming in, this is a very positive message for you, you do not have to rush into anything. There's no need to do so, okay? But I do feel like somebody is finally going to be giving you an answer or you're going to be getting an answer that you've been looking for or a message that you've been looking for all along, okay? So this is what I have for you. If this resonated with you or if you like this, let me know how it goes for you over the next few weeks. If this is what you hear, leave down, leave a comment down below. But give me a thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, and I will see you next time, Sagittarius. Hello, Bye. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your reading. So these are, like I've been saying this whole time, these could be messages. These could be an answer for you. This could be anything really coming through. We'll have to wait and see what the cards reveal for you, Gemini. Uh, keeping in mind to also check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get a fuller picture for yourself to see what it is that's coming for you or what it is you need to focus on. 
Yeah, and if it resonates, leave me a thumbs up down below and let me know in the comments how it turns out for you. But we'll go ahead and get into it and give it a shuffle here and see. What should like to know for Gemini? All right. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to set it up on my block here because these cards are so small. And we're doing a three card spread. Interesting. We've got the ring. We've got the bear. And the clouds. Okay. So there's some sort of unknown commitment. Like you're not sure, right? You're not sure if you want to or not. So it feels like someone's going to make you an offer here shortly in regards to a job. This feels like you could get a promotion with the ring and the bear next to each other. You know, the bear is all about authority, like bosses. Um, it can be like overcoming something, but it does feel like here there's this energy of being offered some sort of new commitment, some new contract. The ring is all about a contract, okay? But it does feel like there's going to be some offer, a new contract coming in for you, and you're kind of unsure. You're unsure whether or not to take it. It's not about your boss. This is not about being unsure about your boss. It's actually being unsure of whether or not to take the, the, the new position, right? There's like, it can be good fortune. It can have power with it. Some sort of control, some sort of being able to overcome, but it can also, uh, attract envy and jealousy in others. Okay. This is something to always be on your, this is to be on your guard, to use your discernment here, especially next to the clouds here. It's like, even though this may be a very, very good looking commitment, is this actually what you want? Is this something that you actually truly want to get involved in? Or is this something that you want to take time to think about? I would say and suggest take time to think about it because anytime we have the clouds and if you see the clouds are moving in, they're moving into this. It's not moving away from this. They're moving into this situation. So this situation is going to bring a lot of confusion, a lot of unclarity and not sure what is coming next, but it has to do with this actual contract that's coming in, right? This commitment. So it's like, once you're committed, you're in. So allow yourself some space, allow yourself some time. Don't just jump into anything willy nilly. Allow yourself the opportunity to see, is this what you really want? Right? Here we have this idea of watching our backs really watching your backs here and not letting things overwhelm you either. You know, sometimes we get stuck in a position where we get so enamored by what is being offered to us that we'll just jump right in and we won't take the time to actually consider if it's good for us. And then once we're in the thick of it, then we realize, oh my gosh, this is not at all what I wanted. Like it looked really good. It looked really nice, but in truth, it's just really overwhelming. It's not at all what I thought it should be. Right. And it's this, anytime that we have the cards, it's like short term, right? Checking your well being change. It's there's misfortune. Even though you have the fortune card here with the bear, we're having misfortune brought in by the clouds troubles, unfocused, uncertainty, fear, doubt, unsteadiness. It can be ambiguous. Okay. This is like clouded perception. Buckle your seatbelt because there's some turbulence ahead, y'all. Okay. But letting yourself really take things slow. There's no need to rush into anything. Even if they're telling you, oh, I need an answer by this afternoon. You have a right to say that's way too fast for me. And if that's not going to work for them, just remember, don't let anybody bully you into a position. But likewise, if you do take this position or if you take this opportunity, there is going to be jealousy that comes along with it. So that's something to prepare for. Okay. Okay. So this is what I see for you, Gemini. Let me know how it works out for you. Let me know what happens. But if this is your reading, definitely hit that thumbs up button down below. Let me know that you do like these and I will make sure they keep coming. 
And until next time, stay human. Bye, Hi. little Virgo, and welcome to your Lenormand reading. Uh, we're going to find out what comes out in the cards. If this feels like you or if this is resonating with you, definitely leave me a thumbs up down below. And then also, once we get the idea of what's going on, let me know in the comments uh, how things worked out for you, what was going on in regards to your situation, if that's something you care to share. I also suggest that you check out your sun, moon, or rising, and Venus, so that way you can paint a fuller picture of what's going on for you uh, in the upcoming week or month. It just depends on how often I post these. For right now, we're just going to do it with once a month, and then if you have more, then you'll be pleasantly surprised. So we're going to shuffle the cards around here. I'm going to do a three-card spread today, and yeah, then we'll leave you on your way. So let's see for Virgo... Oh. Okay, so we have the ship, we have the lady, and we have the scythe. Okay, so Virgo. <laughs> the first thing that I heard, I'm not going to lie, is that you're going to be cutting out somebody. Right, you're just gonna you're gonna end things like you're you're leaving, you're traveling, you're moving, so you're gonna end things. You're just gonna it's not gonna work for you. Now the lady can be you in this, okay? It can be that there's traveling that's happening and there's something that's gonna end because of traveling. So maybe you go on vacation, you met somebody on vacation, and now you have to go back home, and so you have to end things. Like you knew it was just gonna be all fun and games until it was over, right? And now it's over, and it's gonna happen fast. Anytime you have the scythe come out, it's just very like, I'm done, right? There's no moving forward, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. It's just literally cutting it off. So it has to do with travel, though. Anytime you have the ship, ship this is talking about traveling, mo mo movement, motion, going somewhere new, and that's what it feels like here. You're on the on this journey. You're about to do something. You're about to move houses. You could be. I mean, you don't have the house here, but you could be moving houses. But whatever is happening, you're taking a journey. This could be a a physical journey, or it could be metaphorical. But there's some sort of distance here, right? There's some sort of distance where things are not going to work out. They're not going to move forward from here. So it's like you're just moving on to better things. You're moving on to things that are going to be more suited for you. Okay. It is slower and it is over a greater distance, but it does feel like it's something that needs to be done. I do feel like you're the, the woman in this reading here, the lady. Um, it can indicate someone that you may be cutting ties with. But anytime we have the lady or the gentleman come out, it is representing person, okay? But this is something that's very hasty. It's something that just cut, you're cutting it away. It's like you really like it's almost like ghosting it feels like ghosting i can't that's what i the vibe i was getting when i first saw these but it's like a shocking sudden motion it's very aggressive it it can be words it can be something some kind of action that happens but it's like a final straw so this could be maybe you were hoping things would go longer or this person this other person involved were hoping things were going longer or maybe you were hoping to stay where you were longer but suddenly there's going to be something that harsh that happens that really makes things move fast here. But it's also going to be time consuming at the same time. The reason I say fast is because the scythe is a very fast action. Okay, it's a very fast action. But it's because of something that has been kind of in the works for a long time. Like whether that could have been over the year, the summer, or the last few weeks. It's just there's some time that's involved here. And it has to do with you or another person, and it's going to end very quickly. And it's going to feel very abrupt and uncomfortable. But that's just what's coming next for you. And knowing that when situations like this does arise, it allows you to make space for other situations. So other people, places, or things. But 
there's no need to hold on to the the resentment that may come from something like this and just knowing that this is taking you on to bigger and better things yeah okay so that's what i have for you Again, if it resonated, hit that thumbs up button down below. Let me know in the comments uh, more about your situation if you care to share. But I hope to see you next time and stay human. Bye, Virgo. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not sure what's going to come out. We'll find out when we get the cards out. It could be in regards to a situation that's going on. It could be advice. It could be anything, really. So we'll, we'll learn more when we get the cards out. I do recommend checking your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus just so you can paint a better picture of what's going on. And Lenormand is done a little bit different than tarot. It has its own system, so we're going to be going with that today. Like I said, it is something new that I'm going to be offering. This could be once a month. It may be twice a month. We will see how it goes from here. But if this is something that you enjoy, leave me a thumbs up down below. And also share in the comments if you care to share uh, what your situation is. You don't have to go in depth or anything like that. Or just letting us know how it resonated with you um, on your journey. So Lenormand is more about fortune telling than it is about what's going on currently. But it can go either way. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get some shuffles in here and find out what's going on for you, Cancer. Okay. I'm going to set these up on my block because they're so small. Okay, so we have the key. We have the fish. Ooh, and the fox. Okay. Honestly, with the... This... <laughs> so, Cancer, I'm kind of excited for you, okay? Actually, I am excited for you, not just kind of. So, anytime the key comes out, it's like finding a solution, right? The, the wisdom, the knowledge, what you need necessary in order to do what's right for you. The fish is like your own business. Maybe you're an entrepreneur, you're trying to open up your own business. It does have to do with making money, prosper prosperity and things like that. And we also have the fox, which can denote someone who's sneaky, who is going behind your back, but it can also talk about working a nine to five. So the energy that I'm getting here is that there's something that comes through while you're at your regular nine to five that helps you actually begin to plan to build, to start taking the next steps to your own business, becoming your own entrepreneur and, and really like opening that up to yourself. And it does feel like this knowledge comes from while you're working. It's not that you're stealing anybody's ideas or anything like that. It's literally like almost like autopilot is what it feels like. You're on autopilot at work and then suddenly like because you're so zoned in, you're, you get that uh, clarification. You're like, oh my gosh, that's the key I've been waiting for all along. That's been what I wanted. That's what I needed this whole time. And it comes to you and you're able to take the next step in regards to opening up your own business. You could be closing a chapter in your nine to five. That's for some of you, not for all of you, but this could be making headway and being able to leave, right? Taking care of your own well-being. This is assurance that you're on the right path, okay? Success is in your hands. You, you can't gain access if you don't pick up the key and use it, okay? With the fish around, we're talking about abundance, fertility, exchange, independence, entrepreneurship, right? Prosperity, value, increase, cash flow, money, profit, income, acquiring new assets. It's like a large quantity, independence, Okay, so it does feel like all of a sudden you're going to gain the knowledge to getting more money, more independence, whatever it is that means something to you. Okay, because success and prosperity is going to be different for everybody. It's not the same for each person. It's going to be different. But this does feel like you're gaining that access, that next level, the understanding of how it's going to work for you. Okay. Now, the fox can be a warning, but here I do feel like it is 
involving your work, right? Like you're out foxing someone or something. Okay. It's like just because it feels odd or awkward or wrong what it is that you're doing, it's not, right? It has to work for you. And if it's working for you, then don't let somebody else deter you from doing something that's worthwhile, okay? But it, it can really, it can really negate what you're doing at your nine to five. That's honestly the energy that I'm getting here is this isn't something at your nine to five, your day job, whatever it is you do every day, day in and day out, you're trying to like have a better life, something that's more independent. And there's going to be some kind of knowledge, some kind of answer that's going to come in your day to day. And it could be as simple as they help make your choice easy for you to leave, right? That could be as simple as that cancer, but it just depends on where you're at and what's going on. But with the fish in the middle here, it does feel like you're moving towards something that is more free that's going to give you what you want in life and the flexibility that you are seeking okay so this is what i have for you if you feel like this is your story definitely hit that thumbs up down below let me know how it works out for you in the comments let me know if you do like these i truly would love to know i love hearing from each and every one of you but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and until next time stay human cancer bye Hello Aries and welcome to your Lenormand reading. I do recommend that you also check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to help kind of paint the picture for you. These are going to be quick readings. Whatever comes out in the cards is what comes out. If you do enjoy this or you'd like to see more of these, definitely hit that thumbs up button down below and let me know in the comments. If these are different than tarot. It can be in regards to something you're going through, some information that you need. It could be answering a question for you. We won't really know until we get the cards out on the table, but Lenormand is more about future telling than it is about how, well, at least how I use the tarot cards if you've watched any of my tarot readings. So make sure you do catch those as well. I do have pick a cards and daily readings that you can check out. So let's go ahead and get into it and find out what your Lenormand spread wants to tell you today. Okay, they want me to stop. Thank you, source. All right, we're going to put them on my block here just because these cards are so small. We'll give them a little bit of lift. Okay, so we have the bouquet, the letter, and the garden. Yeah, the garden. The garden and the crossroads look identical in this deck. They're kind of hard to tell apart. Let me double check real quick just to make sure. I know it's easy to go by the numbers, but remembering all 36 cards sometimes, you know, should be easy considering I remember all 78, both upright and reversals, but I've been working with them for a lot longer than I have the Lenormand. Okay, yeah, so it is the garden. Okay, good. So the bouquet here, this is like really good energy. The bouquet is like a very positive card, right? It's a super positive card. <laughs> it's an offer, a surprise, uh, something that's going to bring delight, beauty and grace, generosity, feel good. It's like, oh, I'm so glad that that's happening. Happening. It's very uplifting. It's something that you were, you just weren't surprised. You're like, you're going to be surprised. You weren't expecting. It's like warm fuzzies. You know, maybe somebody's going to give you a gift or an invitation. There's going to be some sort of offer that comes, some sort of flattery. Now with the letter, it could be that the letter is what is coming, a message, right? Information, news. But this could also be that you're going to be receiving information or news from friends, right? The the garden is all about society, social gatherings, and people that are surrounding you. So this could be you receiving some sort of news from a group of people, right? It's like some sort of communication. This could be emails. This could be comments. This could be some kind of communication, correspondence. I'm not getting work here. That's not what this feels like. This really feels like a surprise from a group of people that know you. Like they're just going to give you something that's going to make you feel so good, right? So there's going to be something that's going to be said or that you're going to have to read. 
And it feels like maybe you're going to be invited to some sort of social gathering that's going to be a surprise. That's what it really feels like at the basis of this reading. Um, but it is something that, like, you have this this uh, outside environment that you're going to be in, right? It's like you're going to go out and do something, and then what's going to come from that is very unexpected for you, Aries. Okay. Anytime the garden is around, we're talking about social social groups, the people you know, people you work with, people who support you. It's any group of people, okay? So it does feel like you're going to receive some sort of really, really happy surprise from the people that you are at least familiar with, right? <laughs> so that's actually really exciting for you, Aries. It does feel like you're going to either read that over text message or email, or they're going to come and say it to you. And we all know that, you know, Aries loves to be applauded for the hard work that you do. So this could be just the hard friend, like the hard work you've done in friendships. You're going to get praised for that. It's going to feel really, really good though. Okay. So that's what I see for you. Uh, if this is something that resonates with you, leave me a thumbs up down below. Let me know how it works out for you or how the reading resonated with you. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. Until next time, stay human, Aries. Bye. Hi, Libra. Welcome to your reading. So we will get some uh, three cards out from the Lenormand. I do recommend that you also check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So that way then you get a full picture of what's going on for you this week or in the upcoming weeks. If this is something that you enjoy and you would like to see more of, let me know in the comments down below and leave me a thumbs up on the video. And this could be in regards to a situation that you're going through, something that's coming up, an answer that you're looking for, whatever. Lenormand is about future telling. It is fortune telling. Not exactly the way I use tarot, but it is its own entity and it has a beautiful, beautiful energy about it. I'm super excited to be doing this for you. So we'll find out what's going on once you get the cards out. And yeah. I think that's everything. If it's not, oh well. <laughs> what do you want for Libra? What does Libra need to know? Okay. Perfect. Let's see what's coming out for you, Libra. Now I'm going to put them on the block here just because they are little cards, right? Oops. I did them upside down. There we go. So we have the stork. Okay, we have the tower, okay, and we have mice, okay. All right, so there's some sort of new beginning here with this. So anytime that the tower comes out, we're talking about government or some sort of institution. So it can indicate a company, a hospital, a school, a university. Uh, it could be the government itself or the postal services, things like that. But it does denote some sort of, some sort of institute. Okay. With the store care, you have new beginnings. It feels like there was some sort of a loss. So this could be like loss of taxes is what came through first. There was a loss of taxes. And because of that loss, there's something new that's coming. But it felt like that loss was meant to give you something new. So it feels like you were meant to get something, but that didn't come through. And you were so excited about that coming through. And because it didn't come through, it created a lot of hardship in your life. It's like something got taken away from you, something got, you know, removed. Anytime you see the mice, you think about their destruction, right? Like they chew things up, they take things away to build their own. So this could have been the government taking something away from you, Libra, and using it for their own advantage, or it felt like that, or this could have been like a school and some school loans or something like that. But we do have this happening and it's like it was supposed to help you. That's what it feels like. This is something that was meant to help you, to give you like a new beginning. Maybe if it was like a school loan, maybe it was this energy of you were supposed to get your loans deposited into your bank account so that you could use it to buy your books. And instead, whatever happened is the institute took it instead. And so now you can't buy your books. You have to pay out of pocket for your books and you're struggling on it. But what they are saying here is that there's actually because of that, you're going to get some new beginning moving forward, even if it doesn't at first seem like it. Okay. 
it does feel like you are going to be able to move beyond this, but it is going to feel not so good at first, right? Some kind of reducing, reduction. There's some sort of loss here, right? It could feel like theft is what it feels like. It's like you're constantly worrying about something because of this. And it does, like I said, this does not feel good at all. It's because of some sort of authority. I just heard a ticket. Someone has to pay a ticket. So maybe you had to pay a ticket with money that you just received and you were excited because you were going to be able to do something that you wanted to do for a long time and suddenly now you have a ticket that you have to pay. Okay. But this is something that's been around for a long time. This is some sort of institute that's been around for a long time. There's some sort of restriction here. And it feels like there's a lot of judgment going on. Some kind of power struggle, right? Feeling like you're limited, confined. There's some sort of conformity that's happening. You're not able to rise above is what I'm hearing. And it was like because of this new beginning that you were supposed to get, right? But it didn't. It was an evolving situation. There's all of a sudden there was a new addition. Something that moved forward and it was supposed to improve, but it just seems like it didn't. And right now there's a lot of struggle going on Libra, but it's saying that this is a part of the process, even though it feels awful to hang in there, things will work out for you and don't feel like it's against you. It's just whatever's meant to be with us is supposed to come to us and whatever's not will leave us, right? This is out with the old and end with the new. Okay breathing new life into something so don't give hope because things don't give up on hope because things will work out for you all right so this is what i have for you i hope that it resonates if it does let me know down below in the comments uh how your story turns out how it resonated with you leave me a thumbs up but i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here and until next time stay human libra bye Hello Capricorn, welcome to your Lenormand reading. So we're going to get some information from the Lenormand, find out what that is. It could be in regards to life, an answer to a question, uh, something that's coming up. Who knows? It is all about fortune telling with Lenormand. So keep that in mind. If this is your reading, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And let me know how it turns out for you in the comments. Also, if you'd like more of, reading, of the readings like these, let me know as well. I do recommend that you check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs so you can get a full picture of what's going on for you in the upcoming weeks. And we will go ahead and get started with your reading and find out what's coming out for you here, Capricorn. So, let's see. I think that's everything I needed to tell you. And if it's not, okay. <laughs> so, all right. For Capricorn. Okay, they want me to stop. All right. Let's find out, Capricorn, what's going on. Okay, so we have the child. We have the birds. Okay, and we have the book. Okay, so even though we don't have the stork here, uh, this could be two things that came out very strongly right away. Is One is adoption. Okay, you're waiting to hear back on some news from adoption. And the second thing is, is that you could be finding out information in regards to a pregnancy. Okay, even though the stork's not here, but it did. It was just so strong when it came through. Now, for those for those of you that that does not resonate with, that is all right. The other thing that we have here is there's like some sort of playful information that's coming through here. Some sort of playful news that's going to make you feel a lot better. It's also going to kind of make things seem a little bit more confusing because the, if you notice the book is closed in this picture, right? Like a closed book. It's not something that's known, right? There's something you don't know or will soon, soon learn. So it's like having to do with communication. Both of these cards are having to do with communication. Anytime we have the child come up, this can talk about, you know, fun light-hearted play could be a child as well maybe you're waiting to hear news on uh custody situation and wondering what that is it's just, but 
really I feel like this is having to do with you and your inner child and having a good time and letting yourself have a good time but there's some unknown aspect here where you may be getting involved and talking with people and being yourself and being more your inner child self with others but it's just unknown as to how it's going to be taken there's some sort of lessons that have been learned but there's unspoken mysteries here okay and I feel like whatever was left unsaid or whatever needed to be said before in a situation is going to come out now and it's going to it's going to let you feel better about yourself, right? It's like kind of naive, feeling a little young. There's some novel energy coming in here, trusting something that's just starting out. So it could be a relationship. This is a very small spread. But when we have the child in the book, this idea is saying that it's not yet known. So this is something that is just not seen that's brand new, right? We don't know where it's going to go yet. There's not really enough information coming in right now as to tell us exactly where it's going. And I know that can be frustrating, Capricorn, especially because you like knowing the steps. You like knowing what's going to happen next. But there is this sense in the next couple of weeks to follow your intuition, but to embrace the unknown because the unknown will allow you to enjoy life a little bit fuller, a little bit more. OK, there's just some sense of inexperience here coming through with the child. OK. But this could be something that is short term. It's going to come in fast with the birds. It's going to be, it could be a temporary upset. It could be something that's stressful, that's hectic, distracting. But it could also be something that gives you more information moving forward, okay? It's excitement. It's speculation. It's conjecture. It can be frustrating, though. It's just unknown. And I feel like the unknown part is what is so frustrating for you in this Capricorn. And that's why it's like it's a lot of fun, especially if it's a relationship and you want to know where it's headed and there's no answer to where it's headed. That's the kind of frustration that I'm getting here. And that's why it's like feeling like you're drawing back a little bit. But there's definite communication coming in. So maybe you've been waiting for someone to reach back out to you. They are going to reach back out to you. It's going to be light and playful. But don't let needing to know where things go get you so caught up that you lose sight of your steps and your path. Continue strong on your path and things will become clearer for you as you move along. I feel like the book will slowly open, but don't expect it to come very quickly. What's going to come very quickly is this feeling of frustration. So remember that you have control over where you're at in your journey you don't have to let others control the way that you feel. Even if they're not showing up the way that you expect them to, remember that you can always choose the way that you show up, okay? So this is what I see for you. Let me know how it turns out for you down below in the comments and leave me a thumbs up. But until next time, Capricorn, stay human. Bye. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your Lenormand reading. Uh, let me know down in the comments if this is something that you would like to see more of, as well as leaving me a thumbs up. Also, I do recommend that you do check out your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, so that way you can get a full picture of what's going on for you this week or in the upcoming weeks. Like I said, right now, I'm just going to do once a month, but I may be able to bring these out uh, more often than that as well. So... Uh, we don't know what's going to come out. We'll have to just wait until the spread comes through. But it could be in regards to what you're going through right now. It could be an answer to a question that you had. Uh, it could just be letting you know of some upcoming event to be concerned about or focused on. Uh, Lenormand is about fortune telling. It is a little bit different than the way that I use tarot. So we'll definitely see what comes out in the spread for you. Okay. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get these shuffled up here for you. So for Scorpio... Or Scorpio. Okay. That's where they want me to stop. All right. I'm going to put them up on the block just because they are really small cards. And this gives them a little bit of a lift. So we've got the book. We've got the clover. Okay. And we've got the moon. <laughs> 
Scorpio. What is going on? Let's just say there's there's a lot of unknowns here. Right? You're already in the unknown. You're like doing something that's unknown. Like you're you're dabbling in the unknown. The unknown arts. The mysterious arts. It's not anything strange for you, Scorpio. It's bringing luck. It's bringing luck. But, but then you have the moon, which is also kind of like a hidden aspect, right? It's something that's hidden. So either you're hiding something from others or this is asking you to hide something from others. Or something is being hidden from you right now, right? So it's just this idea of not really knowing which way is is going, what what's going on, what's going on right now. It's like the moon can only be seen as a result of the sun's light reflecting off it. It does not produce any light of its own. So it's only reflection of the light that it receives. So if there's some sort of luck coming in here, it's shedding light. But only that luck is shedding light. So maybe even working in the dark on something and wondering if it's ever going to produce results. And it's like people have kind of given up on you. And now there's this energy coming in where it's like when the luck hits you, then it sheds light on the fact that you never even told anybody what was going on. It's almost like sudden, right? It's very sudden. It is a favorable card for success. The moon is, right? Especially, and then you have success here with the clover. And so the clover is like, like a stroke of luck, like a stroke of luck. It's like you went to the casino. There is a yellow finch. I cannot make this up. There is a yellow finch hanging on my window. I just looked up and it's just chilling on the window right there. Oh, I wish I could take the camera off so I could show you, but I can't. Because I'm sure once I moved, it would, it would move. That is, I've never seen, like, it is hanging on the window. Just the side. He's literally, like, here's the window, and he's hanging on the ledge, and you see him inside the window. He's, like, looking in, like, what's up, y'all? It's a yellow finch. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah, so, so that might mean something to you, right? Because that's, that, I just looked up, and it's right there. There he goes. Yep, that's what he wanted me to say. He means something for you. So check out yellow finch symbolism and see what that means, okay? It's like something is going to come. It's like you're going to get quick luck, right? This is something like you went gambling and you got quick luck. I mean, not telling you to gamble, please. That's not what this is. But that's the type of luck that's coming in here, right? Hold on just a second. But with the moon here, you have, that's where your attention's been, right? That's where the attention's been. You've been focusing on something, but it does feel very hidden, unknown. People aren't aware of it. You may not be aware of it. It just depends on your story and where you're coming from. But the book is all about hidden knowledge, right? It's all about knowledge yet unknown. Research, secrets, learning, education, mystery, unspoken, this could be some kind of divination that you've been working on, magical arts. Uh, it's it's something that you've been working on. So I do feel like you're the one that's been keeping it secret. And then all of a sudden you hit luck and it's like a stroke of luck. You get a sudden payday or a sudden, you know, something that's big, something that's small. It's short term, right? This is short term luck. Fun, easy fortune, unexpected, sudden opportunity, spontaneous, pleasant coincidence. It's carefree, it's brief, it's small, taking chances. So this could have been you taking chances on something that you've been learning and now it's like your attention's going there and that's what's bringing you luck. But it does feel like this is something that you've been putting a lot of effort and time into. Okay, and I do feel like you need to look up the meaning of that yellow finch because I do feel like that will shed some more light on your journey, Scorpio. But this is what I'm seeing for you. Let me know how it works out for you in the comments and leave me a thumbs up. But until next time, stay human. Bye. Hello, Leo, and welcome to your Lenormand reading. I do recommend that you also check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs so you get a bigger picture of what's going on for you. Uh, these are a little bit different than tarot. They have their own system that we'll be following today. 
So it could be in regards to something that you're going through, something that you're experiencing, a warning, or just letting you know of something that's upcoming, or it could be an answer to the question. We don't really know until we get the cards out on the table. Uh, if this is something that you're enjoying or something you would like to see more of, please let me know down in, below in the comment section and leave a thumbs up on the video. So I believe that's everything. Let's go ahead and get some shuffles in and we'll find out what's going on for you, Leo. I want Leo source. Information for Leo. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm going to set these up on my block just to give it a little bit of height. So we've got the moon, the house, and the coffin. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay, the coffin is like a transitional period. So this feels like there's something that you've been working on and this could be like you putting your attention towards finding a new house and not having any luck or somewhere to live okay anytime we're doing the house that has some that's like your abode that's where you're spending time at that's where you're putting in all your free time right and with the moon it's like your attention is going there and you're really trying to find something that's working out for you it's what it feels like here right this could be your inner wor world as well you're trying to change the way you see things you're trying to heal yourself you're trying to overcome difficulties but like the house you live in it could be the physical house the mental house the emotional house the spiritual house okay but that's the house we with with which we reside in and you're spending time putting attention there trying to shed light or uncover but again the the moon cannot be seen unless the sun sheds its light on the moon that's the only time the moon is ever illuminated and so there's definitely some mystery that's coming through here uh, it's something that's that's keeping something to yourself, right? You've been keeping something to yourself or you're uh, prospering in your personal life, okay? There's some sort of transition here, though, with the coffin coming out. The coffin is kind of, it can be an end, it can be a loss, but really, let's right now, we're looking at it as this transitional period. It's not like the death card, okay? It's not. This is like, you're going to lose something to gain something else. This is not a death and a rebirth. This is literally like there's a loss here because there's something to be gained over here. Okay. It's not anything other than that. It's a transitional period. This is something that is going to make you feel upset. So it could be maybe you, the example they're showing me is you put a down payment on a house. You thought you were going to get that house. Something fell through and now you're not going to get that house and it's an ending, right? The ending is there. You're trying to heal emotionally and spiritually and you put all this effort and this work in and you thought you'd overcome something only to find out that there's still more triggers that need to be healed in regards to that. It's a loss, like feels like a loss of time, a loss of effort, a loss of something coming through here. Okay. It's what it feels like, but there's this transitional period that's moving. Now what's really unknown and hidden from you right now is what this transition is bringing. We don't have any more information other than that. So it could be something that is positive. It could be something that is challenging. However, it's not something to really focus on at this moment as much as it is to focus on the here and the now. Okay. Moon can reveal the truth about ourselves. It gives us an inner, a deeper insight and allows us to recognize our possibilities. And that's what we need to focus on. Okay. It is a positive card. Even though we do have a challenging card here with the coffin, it is still a positive card. Okay. The coffin's just transitioning and letting you have an opportunity to reflect and to get to know more about yourself, right? These are your deepest thoughts and feelings. So it does feel like there's a sense of trying to heal here and really overcome that. But through the transition, it feels like you've lost a part of yourself or lost a part of something that you wanted. If it was a house that you were putting money on or wanting and you weren't able to get it, then there's that emotional situation that comes through that, right? Oh, it's upsetting because that's what you put all your time and effort into. You were looking forward. You had already had it planned out in your head how you were going to put the furniture and how you wanted it to look, the designs that you were going to do in the house, Leo, and it didn't work out for you. 
But overall, there is some sort of emotional ending that's coming when it comes to you, whether that's, again, your emotional, mental, or physical state, or your actual physical living situation here with the house. That is what's being put into play here. So remember that this is not the end of the world, even if it feels like it, Leo. This is just allowing you to open up to something that's actually truly meant for you in this time, okay? So this is what I see for you. If you feel like this is your story, definitely hit that thumbs up button down below. Let me know in the comments how it turns out for you, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. And until next time, Leo, stay human. Bye. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your Lenormand reading. So we are going to see what comes out in the spread. It could be in regards to something that you're going through and answer uh, what's coming up for you. We'll never truly know until we get the spread out on the table and find out what it is that comes through. I do also recommend you check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs so that way you get a bigger picture of what's going on for you. And if this is something you'd like to see more of, let me know in the comments down below, as well as leaving a thumbs up on this video. Well, let's go ahead and find out what's coming up or what's going on for you. We want to get for Aquarius source. What do we need to know for Aquarius? Okay. All right, I'm going to put them on this box to give it some lift here because these are small cards. We've got the lilies, okay, or the lily. We have the house. We have the stork. So the first thing that uh, came to was that there's going to be some sort of inheritance of a house that's going to leave you with a new beginning. Uh, the lily does talk about somebody who is up there in age. Uh, this is a much older person or a more mature person. It could be a more mature person. So you could be moving in with someone who's more mature or someone who's older than you. This could also be someone who is much older transitioning or leaving and giving you access to a house. Okay, but this does feel very physical to me. This feels very uh, much like you're gaining some sort of housing situation. So you could be moving in with a family member, a friend, a lover, it could be someone like that. But it does feel like this is a brand new beginning. It's a brand new start. It's going to offer you an opportunity. It does feel very good. It feels very uh, forward moving and looking towards the future. And overall, it's this is actually really positive reading. So let's see what else comes through. Okay. It's like very peaceful, harmonious. This could be family. Something that's long term, right? Very zen. Balanced. I don't, yeah, so I don't feel like there's going to be a lot of upset coming through here. There's going to be a lot of goodness that's coming through here. It's like, what's going to ground you? This is going to feel like basic security, which is going to make you feel safe and strong. Having the support that you need in order to move forward in your life, in order for you to do what is necessary, what you would like to do, right? It says this is favorable. And there's a huge improvement. There's some sort of advance, advancement here. You're going to be able to reorient your life to shift things. So maybe you've been struggling up until now and you're not sure why. Or it just seems like everything's been against you. But it does feel like a reprieve for you here. Okay. We're turning the tides here. You won't be staying where you are. Okay. This is going to be changes in your life. So if you've been wondering why things haven't been working out for you. Or things are, are just feeling like... There's a lot more energy coming in. This is why. There's some, like, it does feel like relocating with your home, right? That's what it does feel like. It's feel like you're moving. It's either moving in or out, okay? But I do feel like it is with somebody who is more mature. If you have a roommate. If not, it's because you're leaving a house with someone who's more mature, which could be family, okay? Could be moving in with a friend. It's like maybe having to... Uh, to fly to a new place, right? 
overall, it does feel all, I know, it's like I keep saying, it's brand new, it's brand new, it's brand new, but it does, it feels very new. Like, the situation is just fresh. You know, when you go to a new city, it feels fresh. That's what this feels like to me. So, right now, what you focus on is just the feelings that you're getting right now, and really residing in that, and knowing that that's going to help set you up for the next stint after this comes to pass, okay? So, let me know how it turns out for you down below in the comments. Leave me a thumbs up. And with that being said, stay human, Aquarius. Bye. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your reading. So we are going to find out what's going on for you. We're going to wait and see what comes out in the cards. It could be in regards to anything, really. I do recommend that you check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as well so that you can help paint a wider uh, picture for yourself. And let me know down in the comments if this is something that you enjoy, if you'd like to see more of, as well as leaving me a thumbs up to let me know that you like this video. But let's go ahead and get into it and find out what it is that the Lenormand would like to tell you. Okay gonna put them up on this block just simply because they are very small cards and this will give them some lift and so let's see here we've got the fishies Ooh, the ship we've got a lot of water coming in we have the garden okay so there's some sort of abundance that's coming when it comes to your friends so i do feel like maybe this could be a surprise trip i don't know why but that's coming out this could be a very like a surprise cruise or a cruise that you're going on with your friends but it does feel like there's something that's travel involved here like and it has to do with your friends it's going to feel very abundant right your friends are going to help you feel very abundant but it does feel like a surprise i can't get over it. it's almost like they're going to surprise you with a trip or something that you've wanted for a long time that you're going to have to go and get it the fish is all about abundance here prosperity success then you have the ship, which is all just really simply travel, like at its finest here. It's it's travel. And then you have the garden, which we're talking about social gatherings. But this really feels like a social gathering that maybe you're traveling to see friends or family. And it's going to turn out way better than you expected. Okay. But I do feel like the cruise is what's keep, it keeps coming through here. It's like it feels like you're going on a cruise or there's some sort of cruise involved where you're going to be on the water. Maybe you're just going to a lake or a river or something like that. But it does feel like there is a, a very beautiful, calm uh, setting involved here that's going to help you feel very, very, very surprised about things. And you're just going to feel overall really good about what's going on. Let's see. Uh, you could be getting, you could be getting a, um, a cash, like a cash prize or something. Like some sort of cash is coming in, some sort of money, but this feels luxurious to me, honestly. The fish here, there's like a sense of luxury coming in here. Okay. It does feel like this is something that's very abundant for you. That's what I'm saying. Like, and you love luxury, Taurus. Oh my gosh, you you thrive in luxury. That's like your that's your bread and your jam. Like, you love it. And so that's why I kept feeling like this idea of a cruise coming through is like a, a next level. Maybe your friends rented a yacht or something, or you're just gonna get a really nice boat to go and ride around in. But it does feel like a great distance, like you have to travel somewhere to get there, you know, like it's going to be a slow, like maybe it's slow coming. Maybe this is for your birthday. I know it's like a long way out still, but that's something here. Or maybe you were bought this for your birthday and they're going to surprise you soon with it because it's, it's coming up. The time to go is coming up, right? But it's been slow moving. Okay. It's like, you're going to have an adventure though. That's really what's coming through. And it is with friends. It's with close family or friends, people you love, people you care about. It could be co-workers, but that's not what it feels like here, right? That's not what it feels like at all. It just feels like something very entertaining. Something very fun. Something very 
just adventurous and what you want to do. It just feels like something like you want to do this. You've been waiting for this for a while and that's what it feels like. And so it's going to turn out way better than you expected. So if you've been waiting for this or you've been expecting this for a while, it's going to turn out so amazing. And if you have no idea, that's what's going to be so amazing about it. It's just a very beautiful surprise. It does feel like some sort of trip or travel is involved here. Okay. So let me know how it turns out for you, Taurus, down below in the comments. Leave me a thumbs up. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. And until next time, stay human, Taurus. Bye.